Eric Burgess here, and we've been told to write in terms of its co-function, the function cotangent of 73 degrees. The problem itself is really, really easy to do if you have memorized co-functions, but if you haven't, the co-functions just arise from the fact that when we have a right triangle, right, that means we can use trig functions. And if this is a right angle, that means that this angle, let's call it theta, and this angle, let's call it phi, these two angles have to add to 90 degrees because a triangle has to have 180 degrees. And so this is, uh, this is pretty uh, special because check this out. What if I moved the theta to the other side? So I had phi is equal to 90 degrees minus theta. What this would mean is I can describe this angle here in terms of this angle here. So for example, if I call this side A, this side B, and this side C, well, let's write out sine of this angle just to demonstrate. So if I had sine of theta, that's going to be B over C. All right, so that's B over C. Now, I can also describe the angle phi with the B over C. It's just adjacent. So if I wanted to, I could say, cosine of phi, and I'm choosing cosine because I want to use this adjacent side, is equal to b over c. And we see that they are, they turn out to be equal to each other. We end up being able to say that sine of theta is equal to b over c, which is equal to cosine of phi. And so this is a pretty powerful relationship we have here. It can come in handy in a variety of situations, but we can go a step further. We could say, well, we also know how phi relates to theta. And we know that up here. We know that they have to add to be 90 degrees. So I could also say the following. That, so let's say, because here I've got a theta and a phi, and those are two separate angles, so that's not usually desirable. It's kind of, we would like to be able to talk about things referencing the same angle. So what I can do is I can do this. I could say, well, hey, let's just take sine and instead of writing theta, let's write what theta is. So we could take this, uh, this relationship up here and write that theta is equal to 90 degrees minus phi. And look at that. These look suspiciously similar. We could say, well, sine, okay, we'll replace theta with 90 degrees minus phi is equal to cosine of that same angle phi. And we could say conversely, if we were to replace the phi instead, we could say sine theta is equal to cosine. And then what's our definition of phi? Well, our definition of phi is right here, 90 degrees minus theta. And now we have phi in terms of phi and theta in terms of theta. And it turns out you can do this with all the, the trig functions and come up with what we call cofunction pairs. So we would say that sine and cosine are a cofunction pair. So knowing this, it turns out that tangent and cotangent are cofunction pairs. And so we can do the same thing uh, with can't tangent and cotangent, this whole idea of 90 minus, which results from the fact that a triangle has to have 180 degrees. And then we have these two angles. And this will always happen, right? Because we can only use trig functions with right angle triangles anyways. So it just so happens to work out that all this stuff holds true. So knowing this, we say, okay, well, tangent, cotangent. So if we know that this is 73 degrees, well, that means that tangent of 90 minus, and these are degrees, of 73 degrees has to equal the exact same thing. And if we grab our calculator, I believe it's 17, just doing some mental math here. But let's turn this thing on, do 90 minus 73 and we get 17 as expected and 17 degrees. This would be our answer. We would say this, this is the same thing as cotangent of 73 degrees because they're cofunction pairs. And in fact, we can even uh, test it real quick just to, uh, if you're asked to do this on a test, good habit to check it. So we could put tangent of 17 and I hope we're in degree mode. And this is what we get. Also, we should really quick check to make sure we're in degree mode. So I'm gonna to go to my mode and just check and I say, yep, I'm in degree mode, so we're good there. So now I wanna check cotangent of 73 degrees. Now there's no cotangent button on here,
but we can use the reciprocal identity. So we could do one over tangent of 73 degrees, 73. We should get the same thing, and we do. And so we could see here, this is how you would write it as a co-function pair. It's extremely fast, like a, it's like a give me problem, super easy problem, if you happen to know the identity. But if you don't, you can very easily derive it pretty quickly. I took my time and sort of explained it with all these things, but once you have this figured out, you can just ask, okay, how can I describe you know, this, instead of using sine, what would it be if I already used tangent? And you'd wind up using a cotangent to get it to equal the, the ratios that you want. And remember, you just use one angle in terms of another angle. So that's it. So kind of a cool thing. It's a little, little thing just wound up inside of trig functions that happen to be true triangles. It's just, I think it's kind of cool. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And we'll catch you in the next problem.